Now, occasionally we get some photos sent in here to the morning show that really grab our in attention and, and trick us all. One such picture has been sent in from a viewer from County Galway, and that's Danny Conan, who joins us now on the line. Good morning, Danny. Good morning, Martin. How are you? I'm in good form. Sybil's here with us as well. Morning, Danny. Tell us a bit about this picture. Uh, well, I, as I said, I was at uh, Musical Soiree uh, way back in uh, December 2008. So I was looking through photographs lately, and I came across this one, and I said, no, that's interesting. I said, what is it? So I looked at the ones before it and after it. There's no sign of any strange object. So uh, is it a will of the wisp as we were told when we were young? Is it a UFO? <laughs> you tell me. Is it? <laughs> I don't know. So you're, you're, I, I take it you're a keen photographer. I am, I'm afraid. <laughs> so, so you would have taken a number of pictures within 30 seconds to a minute. Oh, yeah. Actually, I was taking photographs around the, this, this house, so I was just taking one after the other. Okay, but this only showed up in that one in picture. That one, yeah. And come here, Danny, could it have been just like a speck of dirt on your lens or a bit of dust? No, but why wouldn't it be on the one before it or the one after it? Okay. What, could something have blown from the wind onto your lens or something? No, I don't think so, somehow. Okay, so what do we feel that it could be? I don't know. <laughs> Say there's something else in the sky, up above it, about 20 degrees above it. I thought you might be able to put some um, gas on it. I do not know. The photographer, the photo shop that I went to, they couldn't make out of what it was either. So you went and spoke to somebody in a shop, a professional person, who said, well, we, we can't identify it no, either. No. But you say there's something else in the sky... Um, about 20 degrees above where that large... Yeah, it looks like a bird or something like that. It's, it's a strange job. Looking through the lens, uh, magnifying glass. And it's a strange kind of a, an, ob an object, to be honest with you. And okay. Danny, has, there ever any, has anything ever happened in that particular green area, or is it no, known? No, it's a very old um, Irish country house. There's Burks of Belly Dugan. So okay. it's, uh, so it's well, a nice look, house, a lovely old area. But so I'm looking out in the, on the other photographs, I'm looking at the whole list of them here, and there's nothing else strange happening okay. in any of them. Well, we're going to try and shed some light on the matter. Mm -hmm. Danny, we're joined now in studio by David Moore from Astronomy Ireland. David, you probably get these photos sent in to you all the time. We get lots and lots of photos, both during the day and at night, and most of them we can explain. Uh, this one's very in intriguing. It's, it's very hard to tell for certain what it is. If Danny's still on the phone, can we ask him, did, did you yeah. photograph this through a window? So, um, I mean, I still have the negative, so did I you, can send that yeah, but, but did you photograph it through a window or were, were you, you outside? No, 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 just outside in, the, uh, in an afternoon before we were going to a musical soiree, a few of us, so uh, nothing... I'm told. Okay, why well, did you say that, David? Well, uh, often as you're moving about, if you took a photograph before and after, there could have been a raindrop or something on the window that would show up. We've yeah. zoomed in on the particular object, and it, it is very round. And uh, the, the most likely thing would have been a glint from the sun, lens flare. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the shadows in the garden, there isn't any strong no, no, sunlight. No, 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 the other ones I have here in, in front of there. me. There no, there's no sun and there's no rain. We were, I was taking photographs of the people with me at the, at the same time. Yeah. So, now, there, there are a number of other possibilities. First of all, it, it wasn't a negative, it was actually a film, not a digital camera. A uh, digital camera, but I have a, no, no, that was an ordinary camera. Yeah. It, wasn't a, it wasn't a digital, so I have the negative. It wasn't digital, yeah. So well, it could, have, it could be a chemical fault on the negative itself. Now, it's possible by examining the negative to tell that. But if you try and discount all these possibilities, what, what, what could have explained something like this, as in it's not a real phenomena, uh, you can probably explain it away. But uh, one question we can ask Danny is, did you see this yourself with the naked eye? No, I didn't even no notice anything yeah. myself. Now, it, well, it, it could still have been something there. The only thing, if there is a physical explanation, it could have been is something called ball lightning, which is extremely rare. There would have been a thunderstorm 
and this would probably be one of the best pictures ever taken in the world. So it doesn't appear likely that it really is that. Uh, so my guess would be if it's not something to do with lens flare that was a bright light source somewhere in the room, then it possibly, because it is a film photograph, not digital, it could be a chemical spot. Some chemicals were dropped onto the negative accidentally. Okay. It can okay. be a flaw in the negative, and these have explained things in, in the past. So I'm sorry to sort of cast doubt <laughs> on, on it, but it's, oh. it's more than likely, I feel, that it's, it's a fault something on the negative okay. rather than something real Danny, in the Danny, garden. Thank you very much. Thanks a million Thank for sending so that in. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, David, we've, uh, we've got a new moon. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. So uh, there's, and there's a bit of activity going on, uh, even this very nice. Uh, there is indeed, yes. If people were out last night, they would have seen the thin crescent moon with the planet Venus very close to it. Now, Venus is the brightest planet in the sky, and it looks like a bright star, only it's about ten times brighter than the brightest mm. real star in the sky. And you can only see it after the sun goes down. It's the evening star, they say, you should make a wish on. And if you go out tonight, you, the moon will still be fairly close to Venus. And in fact, we have a diagram showing this. Okay. And if you look at the crescent moon to its lower now. right, will be a, an object you can photograph, uh, you'll definitely get a result. That's the planet Venus, and it'll be on view for the next few months, so you'll be able to see it in that part of the sky where the sun goes down over in the west every evening for the next few months. And if you look closely at the moon as well tonight, you'll see that the dark side is glowing faintly because of sunlight reflected off the Earth onto the moon. So it's Earth shine that you're actually seeing lighting okay. up the moon. It's a beautiful sight. If it's clear tonight, we recommend everybody to go out. And if you do get any pictures of it, I'm sure they'll send them in to you, Martin, and uh, they don't send them into send me, them to Astronomy them. Ireland yeah. as well. Absolutely, yeah. We looked the space to station in our magazine. Was, was the okay. space station was on view as well recently? Wasn't ISS. It? Yes, it was flying over Irish skies in the evening every night until last Tuesday. There's another sh space shuttle mission going up. You may hear some talk of, of it in the news, uh, but it won't be visible in Irish skies this time, I'm afraid. And there are only three more shuttle missions to go, and then the space shuttle is mothballed forever. Wow. Okay. So okay. Just make sure you stay in touch with the Astronomy Island to find out when you can see ISS in Ireland skies again. The magazine so is out right now, folks. And uh, thank you very much, Thanks David. Thanks for coming on. My for pleasure. coming in and helping Danny with that.